I like my imaginary friends more than my real friends. I wish I had real friends. So I could like my imaginary friends more. I wish I had imaginary friends. Look, but don't touch. I prefer touch, but don't look. I was driving and I saw a sign that said, hands free, it's the law. So I took my hands off the wheel. Some people believe in karma and reincarnation. Karma is doing good or bad things in life. If you do good things, you can be reincarnated as a god or wealthy. If you do bad things, you're reincarnated as a poor person or insect. So monks, as they are walking, will sweep bugs out of the way so they don't step on them. That bug is somebody. First, you should squish the jerks. I don't know what you did, but ha! Second, you should kill bugs so they can get started on their next life. The bug is not going to do any karma that is any better or worse than what it has done so far. Bugs don't have bad karma, and letting them live longer is not going to make their karma any better. That bug is a murderer. He's going to come back as an even lower life form. Killing bugs is good karma. Torturing bugs is bad karma. I know what I'm coming back as. A girl I know likes to get to know people. Yeah, she wanted to learn about different religions and get to know different religions and write a book. I told her she could call the book Religions I've Dated. A textbook joke, not jokes about textbooks. Like, I don't jaywalk, I jay run. You never see women with their fly open because they have to pull down pants. So guys, if you want to avoid the embarrassment of an open fly, just... I went to a bathroom at a concert and after we were herded in, someone said, no peeking. This was great for me because I pulled down my pants. No peeking? I don't even look at what I'm doing. I wondered if women knew not to peek, so I walked in to tell them. It flies down. Have you ever read the Sexual Harassment Handbook? There was a TV show called Hoarders. People who collect so much stuff, they are buried alive in their own homes. The first time I saw it, I was horrified. A woman was giving a tour of her hoard house, and she said, This is really a tough time for us. I recently lost my father. I said, Keep looking. He's in there somewhere. On the show, they have drug-like interventions. You have a problem. You need help. Friends and family will pretty much coerce the hoarders to throw stuff away, and it would be easier to pull out the teeth that they are hoarding in their mouth. They are so profoundly attached to their stuff that getting rid of it causes them pain. If you throw something away, even a two-year-old milk, without their permission, they will lash out at you. I have a jacket. It's reversible. It's missing a pocket on the left side. One day I couldn't find it and I thought someone had thrown it away again and I was ticked. I felt betrayed. I started plotting revenge and I realized, oh my God, we are all hoarders now. A photo of the coffee shop had a sign that said, College girls working for tips. Did they steal that sign from a strip club? I had a girlfriend that was 30 years old, but had the mind of a 17 year old. It's great for me because I got to live out every man's fantasy of humping an underage girl. Officer, not only is she legal, but all the humping was dry. Say yes to dry humping underage girls. 
My friend studied law and other useful things in college. So I asked him, Hey Jim, it's illegal to have sex with underage girls, but what about other things? He snapped, Cops will still throw your ass in prison and put you in a yellow jumpsuit so the other inmates will shank you for being a child molester. I thought, it's not a good time to ask, so you know this from personal experience. Instead, I assured him that I was happily involved with a 30-year-old girl. I mean woman. She asked me, what is love? I would pass up someone better for you. She didn't love me. Marriage is a reverse restraining order. You cannot be more than 50 feet from this person. I was at Carl's Jr. where they have TV in-house entertainment they had on a juggling competition show. One guy juggled seven bowling pins, someone else did every fruit on the food pyramid. Two guys at a table next to me provided commentary and made fun of the jugglers. One said, no life. The other said, what, does this guy never have sex or anything? Yep, either you have sex or you're in the World Juggling Federation. There is no in between. A kid started juggling five hacky sacks in one hand. One commentator said, get that kid a soccer ball because chicks dig soccer players. Lame ass. It's called get a life and girlfriend. Check out this game on my phone. I have a friend who takes 20 minute masturbatory showers. What a loser. I do the same thing in five minutes. same friend once sent out a text, not to me, thankfully, that said, if you want to shoot porn in my house, my mom said it was okay. I wonder how that conversation went. Did he ask his mom or did his mom give him the idea? Mom, can we shoot porn in the house? Only if your sister can play too. Son, you know what you should do? Shoot porn in the house. Bring your father. I put tortillas in the toaster. But they would burn. But the pieces were too hot to touch. So I unplugged the smoking tortilla toaster and ran out into the garage. After the smoking stopped, I put the toaster back and grabbed more tortillas to toast. And I thought, maybe I shouldn't do this. So I put the toaster in the garage so it could make smoke without having to run. Doctors are 200k in debt. I'm 200k in debt. Therefore, I am a doctor. You're only 20k in debt. I'm not a good doctor. I saw a Craigslist ad that said, want to be in gay adult movies? I thought it was misleading because there was at least one person reading that ad who thought, I wouldn't mind being in the movie. I just don't want to do anything gay or adult. Can I be a porn extra? I wish I had real friends. They had this event called Day of Silence. I would have gone, but I didn't hear about it. Recklessly evading police, as opposed to responsibly evading police. I didn't punch them, they hit my fist with their face. Taking a kid's wheelchair is stealing. Taking a kid's wheelchair with the kid in it is kidnapping. A kid taking a nap is a kid napping. Instead of so much paper killed a lot of trees, she said so much paper killed a lot of people. A lot of people went into this paper. 
I'm forced to wonder about people who automatically think that the best word to go after kill is the word people. On the bus, there was a passenger who said to the driver, I'm going to the East Coast next week. The driver said, isn't it snowing? Passenger said, yeah, there's an emergency I have to go. So the emergency is big enough for the snow, but small enough to wait until next week. During the earthquake tsunami nuclear disaster in Japan, Japanese people were deprived of hot baths, which is apparently even more important to Japanese people than us Westerners. To show her support for Japan, an old Japanese lady living in California stopped taking hot baths. And I will go on supporting Japan. In an ad for the National Guard, it said, Tuition costs shouldn't stop you from reaching your goals in life. True, my goals are to not pay my tuition costs. Mission accomplished. And they, quote, have come to America to eat your kids. I wanted to say, oh yeah, that's because American kids taste better than Muslim kids. They're so fat and juicy. Muslim kids are so malnourished. So you've tried both? I've tried all flavors. I'm a connoisseur. A cannibal connoisseur. Cannibal connoisseur makes it sound like I savor many flavors of cannibals. Twenty four hour drive through. You can't always get food, but you can always drive through. I googled swustika. I wanted to see if anyone took the Nike swoosh and arranged it into a Google, not finding anything on swustika, gave me swastika instead. I hope Google isn't like TiVo or Amazon. Oh, you like swastika? You will also like this. Do you think looking up swastikas raises a red flag? I only buy socks that children have died making. I was reading a newspaper and it said, many people don't expect relief from soaring gas costs anytime soon. Two thirds of drivers say they expect the higher prices will cause financial hardship for them or their families in the next six months. Most are not changing the way they live. Three-fourths are cutting back on their expenses. Two-thirds or half planned a vacation closer to home and almost, emphasis added, as many have thought about buying a more fuel-efficient vehicle. When I read financial hardship, I thought they meant they wouldn't be able to buy food or pay for electricity or water. I didn't know having to drive less on your vacation was a financial hardship. When unemployed people stop looking for jobs, the government no longer counts them as unemployed. So if we all stop looking for work, the unemployment rate will be zero, people will feel better about the economy, and it'll get better. Gay people, as Americans, have the right to divorce. Why torture yourself when life will do it for you? I'm a perfectionist. I believe with absolute unwavering certainty that there is a heaven. Me getting in? Not so much. How is a college degree like a condom? It is better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. How is voting like sex? You should use a college degree. I would have also accepted issues, there are disastrous consequences, and we are horrified when old people do it.
My donor card says, don't touch my organs. Give blood or vote. Here's a sticker. My blood type is A positive. Only my blood gets good grades. People talked about counting sheep to go to sleep. I prefer to count cards. Plus one. I sent myself so many uninvited email mail folder. I spam myself. I can't believe it's not pornographic. At my house, there was a cat in the window next to a pest control device. It must not have been working because the cat was still alive. Pest. Coincidence. There are missing pet posters. Some people should put up pre-missing pet posters. Put up the posters before your pet goes missing. And you should name your pet Reward. So you can, on their pet tag, write Reward. 555-5567. Five, 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 now there's no reward, that's, that's their name. I saw one missing dog poster and the first description to help you find the dog was his name, Charlie. And I thought, knowing the dog's name is Charlie is not going to help me find him unless the dog is Vietnamese. A, B, C, D. The smaller the battery, the better the grade. Women get upset when I ask them about their battery size. That is in the handbook. Smell this chapstick. I can't smell it. You can't smell it? I'm not going to snort it to sniff it. Dude, what's chapping? It's snorting chapstick to get high. Kids... Please, snort chapstick. Every citizen should have a gun. Show me your papers, show me your guns. I'm going to come over and sit in your fridge. If you look both ways when you cross a one-way street, you might be a dumbass. If you put paper plates in the dishwasher, you might be a dumbass. If you eat carrot cake because it's good for your eyes, you might be a dumbass. What vitamins help my eyes? Carrots. Vitamin carrots? If you get pulled over for driving with only one headlight and you're driving a motorcycle. Yes, officer, I... If you have to think about being spontaneous, if you lose your cell phone and you buy another cell phone to call the one you lost, you might be a dumbass. If you pay for porn, you might be a dumbass. If you fantasize about masturbating, you might be a dumbass by sticking a fork in an outlet and the fork is plastic. If you are a dumbass, you might be a dumbass. The library donates books to prisons and detention centers. If you want to donate to the library, they only accept paperbacks. I took this as a challenge. The library challenged me and said, you can't kill or hurt anybody with a paperback book. I'll show you. Can I take this book to prison? It's paperback. <laughs>